That's OD. Yeah. That's nutty. So he has had to, he has really fought like hell to get here. And that was definitely the biggest demon yet in that lineup, this gauntlet frozen, uh, who did just have a bit of a tough loss against Dill. Maybe that, uh, maybe that'll tilt him just a little bit because, you know, this Tilde needs some big energy here. This should be a really fun set, actually, because uh, not so much the character matchups, but these two players, like their player matchup, is just that like these are their their styles are so like movement based, like they they all do that 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 cool shit, you know, and like when you give Frozen his platforms, he's be teleporting all over the place, and like when you the type of options you see Tilde go for, it's just like oh my lord. What is happening? Ooh. But right now, this first stock, I mean, Frozen is not. He is mad. He was just like, I was so close to being Dale. I'm gonna make it all the way back. I mean, it's. <laughs> but this man has already made it back. Tilde has worked so yeah. hard to get to this Clawing point. Clawing his way. Or, okay, this I guess, could be big. Feathering his way. But a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a flub right there. That up tilt is one of. That up tilt is so key to, to just Falco's play style in general because it's up tilt to imagination, you know? That move mm -hmm. combos into so much. It's just such a useful move. Oh, um, yeah. Falco OD being like, I just want to up tilt. Just let me up tilt. You know, even, <laughs> I will say, it's worth noting to Frozen that even though Tilde is one of those movement-based players, he has had barely any chance to move. The way that Frozen is shutting that down for him He's just like putting him in the corner, putting out these big hitboxes in ways where Tilt is just absolutely choked out right now. Okay. So now we have Frozen with a near uh, full stock lead now. Like he's been driving this uh he's been driving this lead as far as he can so far, almost completely lapping him. Well, we might get to it that very soon. Went for that hard read on the forward smash. It, I, I don't think that's him getting antsy, though. I think he just, on the off chance that Frozen would have gone for a ill-timed aerial that would have killed him right there. But now we have Tilda once again off stage. Yeah, that's the exact same position he put himself in before to get Naird. And just once more, just this is a three Ripping him to off of the wall and being like, oh, you want to go that way? I'll, I'll help you out, buddy. <laughs> like a Mario jump pad. Yeah, I like to think of it as a sonic boost pad. <laughs> okay, so Frozen finally on his second stock, but a little bit too late, I'm gonna kinda call it, because like 70 damage on his last stock. Oh, you know what? Never count out the sh movement, never count out the up tilts. Uh. Oh. Now, it, even if uh, Tilde can't bring this game back, it's important to note for later, like the conditioning, for learning the opponent's habits, it's still super important. There is another possible two games ahead of uh, Tilde for him to absorb information mm -hmm. towards. Oh my, that up smash still lasting. You could tell he waited it out, and then he's like, aha, time for the forward air. The pal is just like, I'm not done yet. Don't interrupt. <sighs> is that a shine tattoo? Yeah, it is. Oh, that's cute. Anyway, so Frozen looking really good in that game one. Definitely hungry to just move on and get a rematch against the bu against Dill or challenge the Buzz or whatever would lie ahead of him uh, deeper into losers. But tell that once again, he's worked so hard to get here. He had, for him, an unfortunate upset, and he's just done, made a juicy batch of lemonade. Just yes. got, he's just got to squeeze it into Frozen's eyes. Your opponent can't play Smash if they're blinded. Three, two, <sighs> yeah, and that's why they went to Smashville. Like, you don't have to cover as much distance when you're shooting out that those citrusy shots, <laughs> you know? He's just like, get over do here. Do Falco's lasers taste like citrus? No, not at all. I always imagine they'd be minty. They definitely would be minty. <laughs> He's got to keep his breath fresh somehow. Oh, man. Speaking of fresh, this is looking real fresh. What happened to that game one? It's gone. 
It's in the history books because Tilda is looking super strong right now. Even more damage, Explosive Flame completely whiffing. And that means that now he's able to get more damage. Reads the spot dodge. Okay, this is ah, this is just a different breed that clearly, Tilda's doing Clearly right Tilda was just like, we need a smaller stage. Uh, he's like, get over here, you coward. <laughs> Oh, man. Actually, outspacing Palo Neutral Air with forward air? This guy is no fear right now. Oh, but maybe, maybe okay, he might have to have some uh, fear, you know, drilled back into him with, you know, about a half dozen Palutena Nairs. Yeah. Three stocks to one. This is, honestly, this is making Frozen's three stock to one lead look like a joke in comparison. Yeah, it's, it's like, oh, I can return in kind the same thing, but I'll do it faster. And you're like, okay, bro. Okay, bro. He's just speed running to game three right now. <laughs> Yo, spin to win, baby. Ah, yes. The, gra right, the, the greatest movement tech of all. The he, worst DI. <laughs> why didn't he just Nair again? Just rip him off of it. I, honestly, I think it's a little bit of... um. Even if it wouldn't kill, it would put him in a bad situation. He wouldn't have had a jump. It's like, oh, I'll kill it him. Would have, I, I, to me, that's like when the fear starts getting to you. You can tell that Frozen is just not playing as confidently as he was in game one. Yeah, obviously, that's true. Considering just the way that Tilde is making him... Oh, man. What? Have took another back air, so much damage on Frozen. This is looking like it is going to possibly be the three stock. What up tilt might kill, actually? Will it? Uh, up tilt back air? Oh, okay. I thought you meant just the up tilt. Oh, I was no, like, I, excuse no. me? I didn't know it had that many he magical powers. <laughs> Dude, right. you gotta be okay. crazy. You gotta and it be worked. crazy. And it worked. <laughs> it worked. I don't care. That counts. That counts. Oh, my God. Single ah. greatest mind game I've seen all week. He was just like, and then, boom, I won the match. Okay, you know what it was? See? Frozen just he really wanted him. to kill What are you going to do? Frozen was like, this Dummy. game is a lost cause. That's so funny. <laughs> it worked. You can't tell me that he didn't hit him think, with the side B. I don't think anything in the history of time has worked as well as that did right there. He did side B off stage, and Frozen died. <laughs> so, I mean, you, you you tell me. Coincidence? I think not. Yes, exactly. All right, so Frozen taking his time trying to figure out. Uh, Till they got rid of FD and PS2, where are we going? Um, uh, we're going to Battlefield. Uh, no okay. surprises here, honestly. I will say this is also a good stage for Falco, though. Uh, his combo extension. Yeah, he gets to up tilt you, boards. land, and then up tilt again. <laughs> and you're like, bro, oh. like lay your feathers off me. Hey, Felix. I, I literally thought you weren't here three weeks. <laughs> three, two, one, go. <laughs> Pay no mind to the man behind the curtain. Anyway, let's get into this hype game three. Uh, Tilda actually starting off a lot more patiently, slower than he has before. Ooh, and maybe that was uh Okay, here's here here we go. Oh man. I think that alright, here comes big damage possibly. The thing is he needs to <laughs> He needs to really get a lot of mileage off of those single hits. Like he was in that game too, because otherwise, if we're talking about an attrition battle here, I just frozen is better suited to that sort of thing. At least this is the most even game we've seen so far. Oh, but Tilda actually punishing the neutral air. All right, it seems that Frozen is not scared in the same way as he was in game two. Uh, he's not spot dodging nearly as much. Instead, opting for a lot of rolls, which definitely can still be punished by Tilde, even though Falco might not be the fastest character in the world. Oh my god, the movement right now from Tilde, the way he's able to just dodge all of these little auto reticles while still closing the gap. A great auto cancel on that platform. Now Frozen is looking like he's in a pretty good spot. Back here not finishing the job, but a roll recovery. I don't know if it was a good idea. Oh, 
Oh, he, he went for that, I guess, the aggressive option to try and dissuade Frozen, but it did kind of, I mean, that just backfired on him. He probably could have made it to ledge with an air dodge. Oh, and now after Tilde has worked so hard the entire tournament, he finds himself a stock behind in this game three against Frozen. I don't even know if he's ever beaten Frozen before. This would be huge for him if he can manage to do it, but... Did you stand? Oh my god! <laughs> the greatest movement tech of all! Oh, that was actually so brilliant from Tilde. Oh, but a hungry side B gets snatched up by Frozen. He's now at 64%, able to get back to the stage. Will he be able to get something started himself? A forward air is nice, but it's only 8%, and he needs to be doing a lot more gap closing than that if he wants to stay in this. Down throw, back air not connecting. Oh, he was taking his time. He was just a little bit too confident on the defensive option from Frozen. Now Frozen is up by 100%. He's off stage without a jump. This could very well be a neutral air to finish it off. He lives, but for how long? By how much? Another down tilt. Okay, finally back to ledge. Oh, that should be it, though. Wow, he DIs in and lives for it. Okay, but there's the dash attack. And now, after going on a crazy loser's run, Tilde is on his possibly final stock of the tournament, and he has a mountain to climb here. I mean, look at this, only 24% and two stocks to go on Frozen. Some inferior men would just give up at this point, but he is absolutely not going to do that. Still moving that same way as we saw before, using all that crazy verticality to his advantage. There was Battlefield platforms might be the key to planting a comeback here. Ooh, the latest back air, the latest dash attack rather combos into all those extra hits. You're frozen. Every little damage just adds up in a big way for you. Oh, he read the option, but just wasn't able to punish the Palu neutral air. It can be such a difficult move in general to counter attack against. Tilde was doing it a little bit before, but less so now. He's just aggressively, every time, landing with those neutral airs. And he's getting away with it for free. Ah, oh, the forward air didn't beat it out that time. Oh, nice little laser snipe. I like how he goes that just opting where if he does manage to get the two frame on the back air, if not, he's still in stage control. Oh, but a neutral air putting him off stage. He's at 108. He has no jump. He's forced to go at that angle, but Frozen doesn't actually go in for the kill. He might end up regretting that. A dash attack almost finishes him. Oh, great job crossing him up, but the price for that is that now he's the one in the corner. Forward air intercepting that side B. This things are looking really rough for him. The neutral air actually doesn't hit. Last and a forward air connects. This is a last stock situation between these two. But he first has to live through this invincibility. He can't do it. Frozen gets the up air and moves on in the loser's bracket, keeping his tournament self alive. But a fantastic, fantastic run from Tilde, having to work so hard to get there and getting down to the last stock against Frozen. Just really commendable stuff to him.